Apple 88 here with another FSX tutorial on how to play FSX multiplayer. Not with GameSpy though, since GameSpy is now down. I'm talking about IP addresses and MS flights and all that stuff. Well, it's, well, yeah. So first, you're gonna have to open up your flight sim, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, and let it load. Oh, I was lucky. Hey, <laughs> okay. So first, you're gonna go home, and you're going to use the downloads area. You're gonna and and now, now don't click service pack two. Do not click it. Click that. That one comes later. Right now, what you need to click is service pack one. So you're gonna click learn more and download. And now it says Flight Simulator X Service Pack One. You're gonna click download here, and well, yeah. And you, when it finishes downloading, you're gonna click download. And um, you're gonna click run. Well, since I already have it installed, I'm not gonna install it again. So, but you let it run, and once it's finished running, I'll let it install. Or I think it already installed by itself, but still. And then after that, like once it's done installing, you can pause the video here and wait for me to wait for it to finish installing, so you can see the next part. Now the next part is more harder because you can't go to FSX Home. And then install Service Pack 2. Can't just do that. It does not work. I've tried it so many times before, it does not work like that. And you need to have Service Pack 1 before inser installing Service Pack 2. So do not install Service Pack 1 before installing Service Pack 2. <coughs> and then after that, you're going to click Download. <coughs> and download. You're not going to click it though. Don't click it. Cancel. Don't click it. Not gonna click it. You gotta go to your Internet Explorer actually, and gonna go to www.microsoft.com, and let's go to Microsoft.com. And after that, you're gonna go to the search box over here, like this, and type in SSX SP2. And once it's done that, you so it will bring you to this page. Now you should click the first one, and make sure the FSX is closed at the time, so it won't interrupt it. So you should just close FSX, and then you're gonna click download. You're gonna download it. I have already downloaded SP22, so you just have to download and install it. And after that, um, after installing it and everything, you go to www.fsopen. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Go to TeamSpeak3 SDK on Google Search. And you're going to click the first one. I mean, yeah, this one here. TeamSpeak 3 SDK is free, so you're going to click download now with no obligation. And then, after that, once it's done downloading, you it's, it brings it to this page. Client, 32-bit, 64, whatever. You're going to use the one that you're using right now, and you're going to install it using that type of client or server. Once, you're, once it's finished installing, then close this and th no and now type this in www.fsopen.co.uk and it brings you up to this page fsopen.co.uk well you're gonna go to sessions as for fsx you need sessions 
and say you want to join um okay let's go um east no MS flight 22 people online 1 ATC so first you're gonna click TeamSpeak 3 and you're gonna click launch application and usually it should show this if you're using Google Chrome launch application then after that TSP3 is problem. And now you hear people talking. No, I mean in real life. So, and all you can see is you, so I'm just going to move to a general purpose. So now that I'm in a general purpose room, nobody can hear me talking. And this is my name. If I join a room like this, FSX MS Flight Lobby, and if I double click it, it will automatically send me to this. And then, so you're gonna go back to. I'm just gonna go back to general purpose room five, and now, after that's all done, you're gonna go back to FS Open. You're gonna close this, and then MS Flights here. Open up FSX. So now that you have, uh, open up FSX, you're gonna go to multiplayer, <laughs> and now. You're not gonna go to Game Spy, Internet Game Spy, because if you click it, uh, Napoli 88, and then it won't sign you in. So you just stay there for double click there so many times, and nothing will happen. Now, you're not gonna click that. You're gonna go to local network, lab, and type in your name, whatever you want your name to be. Then you're gonna sign in. Now, what you're going to do now, you're going to click connect directly. And since I've already been playing MS Flights, like the earlier this morning, I already have this saved in. So when you already type it in, it saves it. So MS Flight seven one two three one one two one four three. Seven one two three one one two one four three. Then you're gonna click find sessions. And find sessions will not close it down. It will just say trying to connect. And if you have SP one and SP two installed, it will bring you to a so, trying to connect will actually turn into something else like loading. Loading something. And then right Loading real world weather data from flight simulator. That means you have multiplayer. Now, once you're in multiplayer, since I do not have the logs yet, I am using standard. I am not going to be an ATC. I am going to be a whatever. I don't know. Um, hmm. We got a lot of planes. And i um, just going to go with a. Um, So now that's that all done, that's all done. First, you can file a flight plan using this. You can just go to the, this room here and press this F and then say K O R D, which is Chicago Hair, to K J F K. Then you're going to say I F R F L. One four zero. If you want to, then you're gonna click send. Then a robot says, "Yeah, see, Napoli, your flight plan has been sub submitted. Contact ATC if available for clearance." That means your thing is ready to go. So now that you're in Chicago here, make sure you spawn at a gate, a gate, not a runway. If you spawn at a runway, the the robot will kick you or you'll just spawn in the middle of the air without anything and sometimes that's happened to me before so don't do it 
and then it's gonna load and it loads so you're gonna click OK first and then it'll bring you to the next page it'll show you your aircraft type, your voice which is no because you don't want FSX to be hearing you because then you have a double voice with TeamSpeak and FSX you don't want that now <coughs> you can see all these people Beach Bear 58 Chicago here and you can see where they are and what they're doing and sometimes people have this kind of thing where it says join aircraft to do like that's when you have to, some of them some people have those things but some of them have passwords <coughs> and some don't and also some of them have a uh, say join aircraft but it's blank because of somebody's already joined aircraft with them so and hmm I want to go to Princess Juliana. Yeah. Okay. So you're just going to click Join Session. And it's going to load. Now. It's loading. So you're just going to wait until it's finished loading. Then you're going to wait. <sighs> and usually it takes like it takes the same amount of time to load for everybody else. So don't get alarmed that it's going so slow because it's the server's it's the server's own weather not yours, not your own terrain, it's the service terrain. Unless you're operating with the terrain and you you made the, the session, then it's your session to keep. And now that is like this, it's going to wait for it to load. and it's still loading. Once it gets to 86 it always does this for me it pauses and then it says loading your aircraft to control and then it's done then it automatically starts you pause yeah I'm pretty sure it starts you paused up already and it starts you paused now now that you're in a you're in multiplayer Thank you for watching my video. Please comment and subscribe and tell me if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'll walk you through.